Good morning. Welcome to a moment of truth. I'm Stoney Kaiser, pastor of the Church of God of the Union Assembly here in Dalton, Georgia. What a great day it is to be to know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior and to to have peace with God. If you don't have peace with God, let me tell you, Jesus Christ will give you a peace that passeth all understanding. I love the Lord Jesus, and I'm just glad to know that I've got Him in my life. Uh, I want to say we're, we're charting some new territory here, something we haven't done in this next actual uh, setup. I actually have a guest with me here today, and uh, I'm just honored today to have Brother Ron Haynes here from our Dalton Church. And uh, Ron, glad to have you here. Glad to be here. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. I've been looking forward to this. I, I talked to you sometime back and, and asked you if you'd like to come on to the to the moment of truth. And, and uh, man, I believe you've been studying ever since. Yes. <laughs> Lord, That's glad right. you're here and, and, uh, and just, just want you to feel at home and enjoy yourself. And I know, I know your heart. Uh, you want to tell people about Jesus Christ. You yes, want to talk right. to people about the Lord. And, and, and you have the same desire that I do of uh, wanting to get the truth to people. There's too many people out there today that, that are willing to tell people anything That's just right. to uh, just to build a church yes. or to uh, to build their, pad their pockets or whatever the case yes. may be. And I don't mean to, to trash anybody, but our, our purpose in, in all that we do as ministers is to get God's word to people. So many people have strayed from the truth of the, the Bible and what the Bible was founded on, sure. the foundation of Jesus Christ. And I believe that uh, the church, that Church of God of Union Assembly is, is founded on that. Sure. And uh, I love my church and I love the people. Well, we love you too. And, and I, I, I can never forget the day that God uh, really showed you it's time to go. Uh, I remember very well we were having service there at Dalton and, and uh, uh, we hadn't started preaching yet, but God was ready for it and here you went. And, and done a couple of laps around the Bible stand. Next thing you know, you're you're on the battlefield for the Lord. So I'm, I'm just honored today, and, and uh, that you are here with us. And and I want us to, to get into our text here and talk a little bit about charity. Uh, charity, if we if we look at, at, at what it means to us, um, and from my perspective, charity is is not necessarily that about giving, uh, as much as it is as having a heart of love. Um, you know, God, God is love, and but love's not necessarily God, uh, and and that's what charity means. And uh, I want to I want to get into it. I'd like to go back to uh, in in the book of Genesis where we understand what it means to have charity and how to get to that point in our life. So I'd love to talk about uh, Jacob. You remember Jacob where he'd had the vision, he'd had the dream. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, if we can, I'd like to go to the to the book of Genesis and in, in, uh, in the twenty eighth chapter. We'll start reading about the 10th verse reading down and it, it said and Jacob went out from Bathsheba and went toward Haran and he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set and he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep and he dreamed a dream and behold a ladder set upon the earth and the top of it reached to heaven and behold the angels of God ascended and descended upon it now right there I'd, I'd like to stop and talk a little bit about this ladder and, and what the ladder uh what it means to me and to you and, and, and from your perspective what what do you feel about this dream what does that mean to you it's a it's a ladder to reach higher up in in god's uh throne or grace uh, it's a ladder of faith it's a ladder of uh that each one of us needs to climb and abound in uh, it's something that we all need to try to, to you know, the Bible says in Genesis 28 that the, God stood at the top of it. Yeah. And he's, he's waiting on each one of us to oh, strive to come up that way. what ladder. a thought. What a thought, man. Oh, wow. You, you, the one word you used there in, in abound, it kind of made me think about Apostle Paul. Of course, I feel the Lord in, in yeah. this. Uh, it made me think about Apostle Paul where he said, always abounding in the work of the Lord. That's right. Uh, being steadfast. Uh, if we're on the ladder, uh, you talked about it being a ladder of faith, and and uh, and that is that first rung on the ladder. Um, as we think about how, from my perspective, about this, what God is trying to show Jacob here, uh, he's talking about the church. Yes. He's talking about being a part of the bride of Christ, being founded in God. Uh, that's what the church is all about. If we drop down in that same chapter, uh, after Jacob uh, had, had woke out of his sleep, he said that uh, 16th verse, he said that Jacob awaked out of his sleep and he said, surely the Lord is in this place. Wow, the Lord is in this place. And I, and I knew Amen. it not and was 
He, the Bible said he was afraid. He said, how dreadful is this place? This is none other but the house of God. And I love this part. It's the gate to heaven. When I, when I think about how that God had drove Adam out of the garden or sent Adam out of the garden and drove out the devil, he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword to keep the way of the tree of That's life. Right. When we get on this ladder, this ladder, if we read that 12th verse, it said that he was ascending and descending upon, upon this. He saw these angels. So in, from your perspective, how do you feel about these angels? What were they going up and down? How, how, how were they ascending and descending? What's your thought process on that? As far as on the ladder itself, is yes. ascending and descending into heaven. Sometimes it makes you wonder if they was uh, bringing uh, peace and joy or uh, in, into yeah. the earth, yes. you know. Uh, bringing love, uh, you know, uh, the Bible tells us we should love each other, love one another. Right. And I believe uh, God wants us to love each other. And I believe this ladder of faith and love and charity and peace, I believe all that is, is something that God was showing us through his scriptures and this through Jacob, um, that uh, these angels ascending and descending on him. Well, that you would say that, if, you, if we go over here to, to St. John, uh, the first chapter of St. John, and, and we'll start reading. I'll read a verse out of the uh, the 51st verse, and it'll tell us what that is. But before before we read that, I, w I want to kind of go back and, and lay a groundwork of what was going on here in uh, in John's writing. He had, he had the Lord had um, had been coming, and, and and John seen him, and John told his disciples. He said, "Behold, the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world." That's right. Man, what a message! We could speak right there all day. We could. We can yes. go a long way in that, and it, but it is part of what we're talking about here. But the Bible said the, the next day that, that, that uh, Jesus, had, that John had, uh, actually I believe it was Philip. Wasn't it Philip? Yeah. Uh, the next day he, he had seen Philip and he told him, he said, follow me. Right. Well, that's what the Lord's doing today. Sure he is. And that's, that's what we're doing with this program, follow Jesus. Right. And I, I feel like the love that we have for the people in the community uh, should show in that that we want them all to come to the love of the truth. We want them all to come and hear what we've got to say. Don't at you the do church. me a favor. Huh. Look right there in that camera and tell them. We want the community <laughs> to come. We want the community <laughs> to come and love. We love each and every we, one of we you. We do. We love you, and, and we, want you, we want you to feel that love. We want you to know that's what our church is all about, uh, the, the love that we have for people, the love that we have to, uh, to want to get people into safety. That's right. And, I think sometimes people look at the size of our church. Uh, and that, that can kind of deter them a little bit, but sure. that shouldn't be. We have such a sweet spirit of love and compassion. Uh, we believe in, in worship and, and song and, 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 uh, and preaching, and, and we bring Christ as the foundation of all that. Right. And that, that's really, as we look into that camera and we tell them, hey, y'all come and see. Well, that's what happened to Philip here. He, he, fed, he ran into a, to a guy by the name of, of Nathaniel. Yes. And he said, hey, he said, we found, found Christ. We found Christ. We found the man that Moses and the prophets was talking about. And Nathaniel asked him a question. You remember what it was? I don't. <laughs> he said, can any good thing come oh, out can of he, Nazareth? Can any good thing come can out of Nazareth? Can any good thing yes. come out of Nazareth? And, and, and he told him, he said, come and see. Yes. Come and see. So that's what we're telling you today. We're telling you to, to come and see, come and visit the church. We, we love people. We, we want people to get on this this ladder. And the first thing is believing. That's right. He that cometh to God must believe. That's right. We've got to have believe. faith believing. And uh, Fun, Funny you should say that because we just got through talking about in the last month that you can't make it to heaven without faith. No, there's no <laughs> way. you got to have faith in Jesus Christ. Absolutely. And that's that's what uh, Philip told Nathaniel here. He said, he said, come and see. Well, Jesus saw Nathaniel coming and, and knew that he was a man that... Uh, had no guile in him and the bible said that he did and and uh jesus told him said behold an israelite in that 47th verse he said behold an israelite indeed in whom is no guile that's right and uh, nathaniel said whence knowest thou me i want to i want to tell everybody out there jesus knows us god knows the very intent of our heart uh he knows what we're thinking he knows what we're doing we can't hide nothing from him no uh, oh, he's seen, uh, that was one thing with Philip, he's seen him under the fig tree. Right. And, uh, you know, the, Philip was amazed, wanting to know how Christ seen him. Right. Uh, that, that was uh, the thing that uh, actually gave him a little faith to believe. Right. Absolutely. Well, Jesus answered him. Yes. And he told him, he said, if, if this astonishes you, this way. 
just wait to what you see. Amen. And yeah. what he's seen was, he said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, this is the 51st chapter. If you'll put that up, Shane, I'd love to read it to him. And Jesus said unto him, He saith unto them, And verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter you shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending. What does that sound like? Amen. Sounds sound like, like a ladder, ladder, yeah, huh? yeah, The yeah. angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. So that ladder was Jesus Christ. That's right. That ladder was Jesus Christ. So when God showed Jacob this vision, and this is the way I see this, when God showed that dream to him, and he said it's none other but the house of God, he was showing him, like you said, men that, that you know, we hear the, the place where Jesus said that he'd send his angels and they should go forth and, and preach the gospel and preach right. to people. And, and that's the beauty of all of this. And that's where charity comes from. That's where we get this. Now, now I want to show we only got a couple of minutes, and we'll get into this more next week. We've only got a couple of minutes. We'll get into it more next week. But, uh, I'm, man, I'm so happy you've come. This is, this is so great. Uh, uh, and, and we're going to have Ron here all, all, this, all this month. So, it, Brother Ron, it, it's, it's just a pleasure to have you. So you. we'll get into some more of this. But I'll, before we get done, I want to show them not only that Jesus is that ladder, but what the latter truly is and how to understand. Uh, I'd like to go to, to 2 Peter, the first chapter, and, uh, and we'll just start, I believe it's probably somewhere around the, uh, let's, I, I, I love all this, so this is really my, one of my favorite passages. So I'm just going to read 2 Peter 1, starting at uh, the third verse. And according as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness. What? That come from God. Amen. That come That's from right. God. His divine power is given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness. That by these, let's see, where am I at? I, through I the knowledge. Through the him. knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. Man, if we read into that and we just understand how good it is to know God, what it means to have God in our life. Amen. With, without God in our life, without this peace that we're talking about, without being a part of this, on this ladder. So we'll find out what this ladder is. You're not going to have all of that. So whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption through, that is in the world through lust. Beside this, given all diligence, add, here we go, here's the ladder, add to your faith virtue, to virtue knowledge, to knowledge temperance, temperance patience, Patience, godliness, godliness, brotherly kindness. And what's that last one, Brother Ron? Charity. Brotherly charity. Kindness. Charity. Where was God standing? At the top. At the top. What is charity? At the it's top. It's God. It's God. Amen. It's God. So that's what the ladder is. Um, come down and visit us, Brother Ron, and, and he'll be with us next week. I know that you'll uh, I know that you'll enjoy this. This is just going to have to get greater. I know it is. So just come down at the church and visit us. We're at 2211 South Dixie Highway here in Dalton, Georgia. As Ron has already said, the Church of God of the Union Assembly, we love you, and may God bless you, is my prayer.